go. Hi, this is Jim at the Vacuum Cleaner Store. Today we're going to show you some of the difference between a Millie Vacuum Cleaner and the new Morse Pro Vacuum Cleaner. I mean, we can sit here and talk about features all day. Let's just show what picks up better. Okay, we're going to turn the machine on here. The Millie is a very nice, quiet vacuum. The roller brush is clearly spinning on the machine. Come over here. Good pickup power, no problem there. Okay. Now let's take the Morse Pro canister vacuum cleaner. I'm going to turn this on. The Morse Pro is a little bit louder, but you also have double the suction, and I'm going to prove it to you. Watch this. As I get close to the dirt, look at the dirt being pulled to it like a magnet. You didn't see that with the Millie. This vacuum cleaner is just lightly agitating your carpet, just like a washing machine. And then it's sucking up all the dirt. Okay. So first of all, we got better agitation. So let's talk about some other features here. Suction. What, what's the best for your money? Okay. Let's undo the hose here. All right. Let's go ahead and check on how much suction we've got here. And by the way, there's no editing or tricks here because we do not edit. We don't know how to edit. Okay, right here at max, we're at 40 pounds. Wow, okay, that's not bad. Let's come on over to the Morse Pro here. Okay, yes, Morse Pro was a little bit louder, but you're going to have double the suction. The suction's on high here measure it. Whoa! 80 pounds. So now you're having double the suction for your money and this is what I tell everybody. This cleans better and this is half the cost. So now let's run over some other features here. We'll turn the machine off. Okay, they all have a quick disconnect. They all have a low profile power head here so you can get up underneath the hard to get area reaches just like the Millie. You can get up under the hard to reach areas. Quick disconnects. Millie has it. Morse Pro has it. You want to take the power head off? No problem. Power head snaps off just like the Millie. No difference. Adjustable wands. This particular model has adjustable wands. This model of Millie didn't have adjustable wand. One size fits all. Not a great thing here. Okay. Another uh, nice thing about the two is the Morse Pro clearly picks up better. Now let's say 10 years down the road you need a hose for this unit. The hose for this unit here, if you check online, about 160 bucks. Morse Pro, if you ever need a hose, you're only looking at about $39. Different, way bigger price. Um, biggest problem I have with Millie canister vacuum cleaners, get them in all the time, they don't start. Cord winder, check online. Cord winder for this unit here, close to 200 bucks. If you ever need a cord winder for the Morse Pro, we're talking 49 bucks. So there's a lot of big difference here. Now let's change the bags here. Okay, this unplugs here just like a Millie. Opens up just like a Millie. Bag goes in just like a Millie. No difference. Come over here. You have to undo this. This is a little bit <coughs> harder to open. Then you open up this guy here, and the bag goes in like that. Uh, this also has attachments right here. Come over here to our unit over here. You got the unit opens up like that. It comes with extra accessories in the box of the machine there, uh, so you don't have any extra space there. This guy here, if you've ever had a Millie, what happens right here is, see this lid here? Breaks all the time. This unit comes with your accessories in it, but you don't have to worry about them storing in the front or breaking on you there. All I'm saying is, they're both good vacuum cleaners. For half the money, the Morse Pro picks up better. That's it.